Hi, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord, I'm the host. Today's topic is, why does my boyfriend want to keep our relationship discreet? Well, there's a few reasons here and none of them are really that great. Now, unless you're working together and it's a rule in your job that you're not allowed to date each other, or it's gonna cause a problem at work, things like that, I can understand, but that's something you come to you discuss together about it. You say, okay, maybe we should just keep this quiet on the down low because we don't want anybody at work to get upset about it. That's one thing. So more often than not in a situation like this, it's because they're hiding something. It's not usually a good situation. If they're keeping you sort of closeted and not letting you meet their friends, you only see them late at night and it becomes sort of a, a booty call situation, None of this is, is a good thing for you to get yourself into because first of all, it doesn't make you feel very good when you know you're not the priority and you're also not, in your mind, good enough to be out there and being a part of his everyday life. You're being a little bit of his life and he's not telling people about you. And then you're sitting there taking the dregs of what you get from somebody and that's not right. Don't put yourself in that position. If he wants to be secretive about it, make him be really honest with you. Tell him, I want the truth. What, why do you want to keep this quiet? Why do you want not to be out there with our relationship? It doesn't matter how much you're attracted to them, how much you like them, how many times they say really great things to you. You can't trust somebody that starts a relationship out wanting to be secretive wanting it to be quiet and and you're not meeting anybody in their life you're not getting to see their home all sorts of things you're just living completely on their terms and how they want things to run here 90 percent of the time they'll be in a relationship and you don't want to be a part of that because even if you guys do end up seeing each other more more and more down the road and and he is able to bring you out into his life you're never going to trust him because he pretty much hid stuff from you right from day one. And this red flag is something that no one should ignore. But a lot of people do. Because we talk ourselves into thinking that, oh, it's, it's only a matter of time until our relationship is better than that last one they were in and they're gonna want me to be out there and meet everybody. Not necessarily. A lot of times they'll have other women that they do the same thing to and it becomes a pattern. It's just who they are. They want to be able to have a fling on the side and maybe have another relationship. It's never a good situation. So if somebody comes up to you and tells you this, like your boyfriend did, you're never going to be a top priority. And that, is that what you want? Do you want to just fit into somebody's time slot of what they have left for you? So listen to those early things, everybody, when you're in a new relationship or thinking about being in a relationship with somebody. Those things in the very beginning are so important to listen to. Don't hear what you want to hear. A lot of the times that's what we do because we're super attracted to them. Make sure that it's not just about lust and attraction and you're actually hearing what they're saying. You know you deserve to be with somebody that can give you the world as you're going to give them. You don't want to sit there and give anybody part-time or be part-time for anyone else. So thanks for listening to Cyber Sue today. Please leave your comments below the video. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. And anytime you have anything you want me to discuss, please leave your comments below and I'll do a show on it anytime. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye. Stay safe.